running over many years and has raised about $500 million in its name. We are lucky enough today to have Judith with us today. So Judith Fox, could you please tell us um, about the history of the foundation and the run? Sure, well, um, in 1980, Terry um, ran a, a run that he called the Marathon of Hope. He had osteogenic sarcoma when he was 18 years old and found that there wasn't enough cancer research being carried out and um, couldn't stand the, the, what he saw in the cancer wards and wanted to make a difference to see what he could do. So he, he believed that um, it was through cancer research that we'd, we would find a cure for cancer. Um, he started his Marathon of Hope and he ran 26 miles every day for 143 days to raise funds. And um, he, he had to stop in Thunder Bay, Ontario, two-thirds of the way across Canada because the cancer had returned. And, um, but before, when he did stop, he said that if there was any way he could get out there again and finish it, that he would. But he went on to say later that he didn't want one person to finish his Marathon of Hope, that he wanted us to unite and to work together to find a cure for cancer. And that's what happened. Terry died nine months later of um, the disease, and he died knowing that there would be a run in his honour. So um, there's been Terry Fox runs going since, since then, um, and it's actually over $600 million has been raised wow. in his name. And um, in about 1991, the run started be to come into, um, crossed our borders into, into other parts of the world, and we have 30 countries that organize Terry Fox runs. It's volunteer driven. Um, we, you know, every penny that is raised through cancer research, uh, for cancer research internationally, remains in the host country and goes uh, to um, the recipient institute that's been approved by our research institute, the Terry Fox Research Institute. And um, it's pretty exciting actually what, you know, for me to be able to be here. We have upcoming runs um, in, in Dubai. It's the end of November, beginning of December. We are, we're working on the, on the date right now, but uh, do, our Abu Dhabi is February 21st, so I'm able to come and share Terry's story and hopefully um, you know, get as many people as we can to come out to the event. How can people get involved in the event? Because it's when people hear the word fun run, they think that they need to perhaps be athletes or something like yeah. that. Could you tell us a bit about the run and how it actually works? Sure. Well, it is called the Terry Fox Run, and you're right. Like People see the word run and they, they, it kind of scares them off a little, but Terry wanted this event to be an all-inclusive family event. Terry himself asked for one dollar from every Canadian, so we just ask whatever you can give to donate to. Um, people can volunteer at the event or they can participate. Um, there are t-shirts that, that are being sold. Um, you could go to uh, the, our, re our website, terryfox.org, to get more information underneath the uh, international tab. Um, but we just, it's a fun event and walk, run, what cycle, whatever you want to do to come on out and it's not a race at all. Terry was very competitive but the Terry Fox runs are not. So what, there, there are many um, sort of fun runs and marathons to raise money around the world. So what do you think is the thing that sets apart the Terry Fox um, fun run compared to other ones around the world? Well, one, for one thing, it's Terry's story. You know, he, he has an inspirational story and we're all, you know, inspired by his example. Um, and we don't have corporate sponsorship. We have corporate support. So there's, you will not see branding at our events. Terry wanted all the money raised to go to cancer research and he didn't want anybody to profile from the Terry Fox run so um, that's a bit different but you know we still have people coming out in droves and on the backs of the t-shirts you will see Team Murdoch for example um, so so people are still supporting our, our events but but you know believe in cancer research and that's why they're they're out to the event. So what do you think this means? Um, obviously it's, it's, it's very significant for you this, this run as well. What do you think it means for um, other people who either um, are suffering cancer or have someone close to them that are going through treatment? How do you think this fun run or the, the run actually helps them in their daily lives? Well you know Terry's legacy is of hope. You know he gives us hope and it, it inspires for me, I, I can only speak for myself, but you know, it inspires me to be a better person and to work harder. And you know, when things are going hard, I think of what Terry did, and we've all been touched in some way by cancer. And you know, there's been so many advances in cancer research, and um, Terry's cancer, um, Terry's cancer itself, 
when he was diagnosed, he was given about a 30% chance of survival and he, uh, he lost his leg. Today, osteosarcoma is about a 90% chance of survival and they do not lose their limbs any longer. There's reconstruction surgery that's done. So, I mean, it's, um, it is a legacy of hope. You know, there's the, the more research that's being done in the different cancers, the, the uh, better the outcome is, so. Well, it's a very, it's a very inspiring story, and he is obviously a very, very strong man, and you're doing a fantastic job spreading his message through the runs as well. And it's obviously progressed a lot around the world, not just from where it all started. So, where do you see um, the fun run sort of going, progressing in the next 10, 20 years, or even 50 years in the future? Well, we we hope to increase um, the international events and share Terry's story and get it out there and inspire more people. Most importantly, to raise money for cancer research and the ultimate goal is to find a cure for cancer. Right. So so if there's one, um, just before we finish off, if there's one message that you could spread to the youth to get involved as well and to teach their children and children's yeah. children, if you want to go that far, what is the main message that you'd like to spread through these runs? Well, it's really important for people to know that Terry, you know, even though we consider him a hero, he never considered himself a hero. He was an ordinary average kid. Um, he worked really hard at what he did and he, you know, he believed that we all have the capacity to do what he did. He taught us the power of one and that nothing is impossible. It's an incredibly inspiring story and thank you so much for your time, Judy. Thank you. I hope you'll enjoy today at MCC Media. For more information, please feel free to visit the website at terryfox.org. Thank you very much. <laughs>